After assembly and soldering of the boards, you remove remaining solder and flux residues to avoid possible shorts and long-term oxidation of the boards. We use a no-clean solder and paste in our process. However, we clean the boards using non-flammable, water-based liquid to remove any residues. This cleaning agent is not aggressive to the components and can clean most of the residues without affecting the boards or the components. There are limitations to this procedure, however. Some components are not cleanable with water-based chemicals because the cleaning procedure might damage them or water could trap inside and not fully dry out, causing electrical problems later. Our engineers check the data sheet of these parts and check if they are washable. If there are non-washable components on a board, we skip this step for the order. Next we break out the individual boards from the panel and remove the panel borders. At the end of the production of the bare boards, we prepare for this step by V-cut or break routing of the panels, so that after assembling, the individual boards can be separated easily. When panels are V-cut, we use a depanalyzer with rotating knives. Now the assembled boards are ready for delivery. We pack them to protect from damage that might occur during transportation. All packaging materials that we use provide protection against electrostatic discharge. The assembled boards are packed individually in ESD bubble bags. They can be recognised by their pink colour. Some components require special attention for packing, such as connectors that have protruding parts. We protect these with ESD foam sheets. Finally, the boards are placed in corrugated boxes with package fillers to prevent the boards from moving in the box. The boxes are labelled and shipped by courier and arrive at their destination in the best possible condition.